I never thought that I wouldn't get out of Cuba with the tapes because the whole time I was taping and the whole time I was going in and out of these prisons, I mean, I was leaping walls and I was going through gates that said, security, don't cross. I felt, of course, this is normal, this is fine. I'm not doing anything wrong. It was only at the airport when I felt security guy with the Guayavera standing right behind me and I could feel his 45 when I elbowed him that I thought, uh-oh, I'm going back to those dungeons. That's where they're gonna throw me. The same place my father and my two uncles spent 22 years. That's where I'm going. Because of the surreptitious nature of how it was shot, it was very handheld. I had to question, do I really slow it down enough so that you can see these little snippets of, of things as, as they pass by? And the answer to that was, yeah, that was the only way that, was, that we would be able to see what was going on. I had a state security guard with me at all times. This guy had very little money, had very little to eat. And what I would do is I would give him 50 bucks for him to go get a sandwich, to go get lunch, whatever. And he would leave me alone uh, during those two or three hours. I would take and try to find routes that I would remember how to get back into, the, for instance, the back side of the prison and there's a big uh, steel gate that's locked. I decided to jump the fence and there wasn't anybody there. Uh, it, the, the place was abandoned, even though right next door there was a military base. In the areas where I wasn't supposed to be, I tucked my camera underneath my arm with a towel over it. So it looked like I was just carrying a, some, you know, a, a bag with a towel around it. And I was able to sort of point my body at the places where I wanted to, to tape. It doesn't make the best cinematography, but it's the way I had to tape uh, not to raise suspicion. What I do know is that at the end of taking that video, I was arrested detained actually at uh, Jose Marti Airport in Havana. I was searched, they looked for the little mini DV tape that I had in my pocket. And ag again, this is one of those things, I don't know how they didn't find it, but they patted me down. I had the mini DV tape in my back pocket, the only pocket that they didn't pat down. That held all of the footage that I had taken. The other footage that I had, they looked through, they took the camera, they drained the batteries looking at the tapes. They never found that one mini DV tape of the footage of the prisons. For reasons that still astound me, they didn't get the tape. 